Dharma Naidu. Yes. From where Dharma? I am from Karnataka. Yeah, but Belgaum. based Belgaum, Belgaum. Based in Belgaum. Yes. Not Goa. No. I see. Tell us the concept, please. See, this is uh, we are uh, coming out with an uh, ornamental and exclusively exotic uh, as well as uh, indoor plant, uh, exclusive ornamental plants and the exotic fruit plants Ex uh, to serve the uh, North Karnataka and yeah. Belgaum Hubli Darwad uh, uh, to serve the Hubli Darwad and Goa market. So, and uh, this is Roots and Shoots is a new botanical studio. Roots and Shoots is a new botanical studio we set up in Darwad. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We set up in Darwad exclusively to make people aware about gift plant concept. I so see. people give uh, bouquets. I do. I don't want to continue that. We let people love giving plants, live plants. So that will give some value and character. Indoor plants? Indoor, indoor. All are indoors. What's gift, the gift price plants. range? They are ranging from 100 to 3, 3, 400 maximum. Instead of giving bouquets. So this is a concept which I came out in Darwad. I'm looking forward for the loving people of Goa. Let's hope uh, in future. Easy to grow, easy to sustain. Easy to sustain, easy to ma manage, easy to maintain. Some website, some contact number. Uh, everything is there in the Roots and Shoots. Roots and Shoots, Botanical Studio, Gift Plants, Vastu Plants, Air Purifying, Darwad, Vertical Darwad. Gardens. You can Google that, Roots and Shoots. You'll get all the information. Saptapur Darwad. Yes. Darwad 1 in the center yes, of town. Yeah, yeah. If you Google, you'll get all the information. Dharma.naidu at any particular plants you can tell us which are interesting? Yeah, see for example, this is a Dracaena draco. This has been imported from uh, China. I see. Our uh, small plants, we are making it big. This is much in demand, the most beautiful plant to sustain in the indoors under the AC conditions. And one more plant which is all sold out, that is called Redder Marchera. That is also a beautiful indoor plant exclusively for AC conditions. And I got a fantastic collection of staghorn ferns. Look at that birdless fern. Hmm. These are all some exotic ferns. Three ferns. I see. Costas. And look at this bonsai. They are all imported from Thailand. Bonsai? Bonsai. Bonsai. Price? Price? This is for the four and a half thousand. Look I at see. Look at this uh, ficus copier. It's called the 200. Banyan tree? It's not banyan, it's ficus species. Ficus? Yeah. And how big will it grow? Well, that is the maximum. And look at my new concept, vertical gardens. Where nowadays space is a constraint for the offices, corporate offices, bungalows, yeah. hotels, restaurants. So we are coming up with a new concept, vertical gardens, green wall. I see. This is a new concept where uh, people can get good oxygen. All these are oxygen giving plants. I see. The peace lilies, pathophyllums, money plants, they emit oxygen. They are yeah. the number one plants to give more oxygen. And I didn't bring the air purify, air, uh, air plants. Yeah. So that is my, let's look at these anthuriums. Any challenges of growing indoors because of humidity yes. or anything? No, no, no. The challenge is uh, you have to maintain the moisture content. And we have to keep spraying the plants. Make the, keep the plants moist. That is very important. Indoor plants need moist, not dry. It should not dry. And very important thing is watering. You should water in a moderate way. Do not water over water or uh, under watering will uh, destroy the plants. I see. And aeration. Once in a week or once in 15 days, just aerate the plant with a small sickage, uh, this thing, tools. Right. Good aeration and a moderate moisture, freshening of the plants. That's it. What's your uh, WhatsApp number, please? Last question. Nine four two two three zero one zero one six. Thank you so much. Dad. Thanks, sir.